only 1% of abortions occur after 20 weeks. 93% occur in the first trimester. And I tend to think when people say, well, it's God's will, it's a miracle, it's life. If it's God's will on the way in, it should be God's will on the way out too. That brings into question, are you taking heart, heart attack medication? Are you treating your cancer? Are you dying when he said you should? Because if we're going to argue about life in, let's be honest about life out. This video is brought to you by Pure Talk, brought to you by Pure Talk. You want a killer Black Friday deal? I got one for you. Free Moto G 5G phone from Pure Talk. No gimmicks, no trade-in necessary. Just sign up for Pure Talk's unlimited talk, unlimited text, and 15 gig data plan for just 35 bucks. And get the Moto G 5G phone for free. But here's the deal. You need to move fast because these phones will be gone by the end of the month. So if your current phone is on life support, upgrade for free with Pure Talk. Enjoy two-day battery life, an exceptional quad pixel camera, and a whole lot more. Just dial pound 250 and say keyword Brandon Tatum to speak with Pure Talk's U.S. customer service team. They'll make switching so easy and will make sure that you get your new phone. Remember, Pure Talks gives you America's most dependable 5G network at half the price. So make the switch today. Dial pound 250. That is pound 250. Say keyword Brandon Tatum to claim your free Moto G 5G phone with qualifying plan. Pure Talk. Simply smarter wireless. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, welcome back to the Officer Tatum Show. If you thought that the view couldn't get any more deranged, listen up. I want to play this clip of some body at the view. I'm not going to name call. I'm not going to name call tonight, but I want you to listen to this clip and tell me what you think about what you're about to hear or what you hear. Roll clip two. It's also not a universal truth when life begins. One example is there are Jewish women suing in Kentucky because according to Jewish law, a fetus is regarded as part of a mother's body until it begins to leave the womb. People aren't doing this lightly. Like, this is not something where they're sitting around engaging in this. Only 1% of abortions occur after 20 weeks. 93% occur in the first trimester. And I tend to think when people say, well, it's God's will, it's a miracle, it's life. If it's God's will on the way in, it should be God's will on the way out, too. That brings into question, are you taking heart, heart attack medication? Are you treating your cancer? Are you dying when he said you should? Because if we're going to argue about life in, let's be honest about life out. Mm -hmm. Don't go to the hospital if you're hurting because it was God's will. Well, like, I don't like the inconsistencies and the hypocrisy when people weaponize religion on this and, issue. And <laughs> These people are so stupid. <laughs> Did y'all see the conundrum pretzel that this woman just put herself in? What are you talking about? Said, don't weaponize religion when you're talking about giving birth. Hey, Dumbo. If it's God's will, meaning that when you get pregnant, it's God's will for you to have a baby. You are thwarting God's will by having an abortion. You're changing the course of what's naturally happening to your body. And this fool said, if you go to, if you go to the doctor and you get cancer, don't take cancer medication. Do you understand you're contradicting your own argument? If you just let cancer happen to you, meaning you don't obstruct, you don't abort the cancer. You just let the cancer take over and kill you, if that's the if that's what the end result is going to be. Then when you have the baby, you just give birth to the baby. If you take cancer medication to avoid and get rid of the cancer, it's like taking abortion pills, plan B, and having an abortion. So your argument doesn't make sense. The religious argument is the argument of allowing life to happen. Yo, narrow behind, laid up with somebody, and you got pregnant. Duh. That's like saying, I'm going to go roll in mud and expect not to get dirty. What are you talking about? It, it, listen, y'all. I say this every time I talk on the radio, because there's new people listening all the time. If getting pregnant consisted of walking down the street and slipping on a banana peel, and you just hit the ground and get pregnant, then I'd say, hey, man, maybe abortion is a thing. But it take more than slipping on a banana peel. It takes some text messages. It takes some flirting at the bar. It takes some, hey, I like you, or you like me. It takes some getting to the bedroom, taking your clothes off. 
It takes some you know what to do, you know what, and you know who. And they got all kind of stuff to prevent you from getting pregnant. Birth control, inserts, shots, condoms, abstinence. Joe Biden in Afghanistan, if you know what I'm saying. It don't always work, obviously. But there's other methods you can use to not get pregnant. Y'all still getting pregnant. That means that you're not taking responsibility for your actions. And there's no controversy about when life starts. You, you, you got to be a fool to think this controversy. It starts at conception. That means at this point, unobstructed, a human life will, will, will um, develop and be birthed. There's no other point that you can say that. Not when the kids are inside the father, not when the eggs are unfertile. It's when the egg and the sperm fertilize, the child is conceived. That's unobstructed from there, human life. Every single one of y'all that's listening to me right now, that's what happened to you. When that conception happened, your mom and daddy, I don't know if they tried to abort you or not. I don't know. But clearly, they didn't abort you. And that's why you're alive today. Eight million people on planet Earth, life started at conception. It don't start at your perception. That's like saying, when does an apple tree become an apple tree? When you start seeing the apples? No, fool. When it's the seed in the ground and it's growing underneath the ground, it's an apple tree. You can't uproot it and say, no, it ain't an apple tree yet. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Because if you don't fool with it, it's going to come up out of the ground, it's going to blossom, and then the apple's going to grow on it. If you don't fool with it. So when does an apple tree become an apple tree? It, it's, it's so stupid to me. It's like a person that want to build an apple farm or have a lemon tree or orange tree. You plant the seeds in the ground with the expectation that it's going to blossom into a tree. You don't plant the seeds in the ground and say, no, nah, ain't nothing there. It, it, no, nah, it, it don't count yet. No, fool, you plant the seeds with the expectation that these are going to turn into trees. So you can have fruit on it. What are we even talking about, ladies and gentlemen? There's nobody that's listening to me right now that should disagree with me. Nobody. It's impossible.